Are young men privileged in today's society? Hello, it's Blue Orange 22, and this is going to be the question that I am discussing. Uh, I'm actually going to do uh, a little mini-series on this topic. Uh, this video is going to be the introduction, and then the next four or five videos or so, I'm going to be talking about uh, male privilege and the young male crisis. Uh, I'm going to be breaking down um, a few different issues and a few different facets of life and really kind of look at this question, are young men really privileged in society and in economics today? Because that's something that you hear a lot, but I would say no, and I'm going to make the case as to why, because when you look at the actual statistics and the day-to-day -day life of the average man and the average woman. Do you really see that men are privileged? Because we're starting to see all these articles on the young male crisis or the boy crisis and all these problems that young men are having. And you're starting to see articles like this, you know, why are boys failing in education? Why are boys struggling in school? Why are boys falling behind? in the education system. What's going on? And that's an issue that MRAs talk about a lot, in fact. And the education gap against boys is something that sets up lifelong consequences and has lifelong effects. Because then you see articles like this. Why are men the new minority in college? Why aren't men going to college as much? What's going on with young male high school students? And how come young men aren't going to university? And then, of course, you see articles like this. Why aren't young men going to work? How come young men aren't getting jobs? What's going on with young male unemployment? And then, of course, that leads to articles like this. Why are young men still living with their parents? How come young men are more likely to live at home with their parents? You know, what's going on with young men? You know, they're not working. They don't have a job. They're still living at home. They didn't go to college. But it's like no one really seems to actually be asking why. It's like they write these articles and they see these statistics and then it's just like the end of it. But it's like people don't really seem to be looking at this whole thing and kind of connecting the pieces because all of these things are connected and they're painting a picture that young men today are not actually doing very well. In fact, this is a new one that I saw recently. Young men are actually significantly less likely to buy a house than women. And in fact, single women are now twice as likely as single men to buy their own home, which of course means that a single man is only half as likely to be able to buy a home. So when you think about that, it kind of doesn't make a whole lot of sense. If men were economically privileged, wouldn't men be more likely to be buying their own home instead of only half as likely? And when you look at the entire thing, men are less likely to go to college. They're less likely to have a job. They are more likely to live with their parents. They're more likely to be homeless. They're more likely to be in prison. That doesn't really sound like what would happen to the privileged group in society. It doesn't really sound like something that would happen to the advantaged group in society, and yet it is exactly what's happening. So when you take the average 18-year-old boy and you compare him to the average 18-year-old girl, the 18-year-old boy is kind of behind in every single category. Whether he goes to college chances are he's less likely to get in, he's less likely to have graduated high school, he's less likely to go to college, he's less likely to go to work, he's less likely to get a job, he's more likely to be living with his parents in five years, he's less likely to be able to buy his own home, he's more likely to be homeless, and he's more likely to be in prison. Where exactly does the privilege happen there? Where exactly is the male privilege? Where do you actually see that? happening. In fact, uh, even with the wage gap, uh, young men entering the workforce are now earning less than young women entering the workforce. And it's like all these things are happening kind of at the same time and no one's really kind of looking at, well, maybe they're connected. 
So that's what this uh, series is going to be about. Uh, my next four or five videos or so, I'm going to be breaking down some of these things one at a time and looking at them, looking at some of the statistics, looking at some of the data, and looking at some of the causes as well. Um, go ahead and if you want to read the articles, I linked every one in this video in the description below. I'm going to be coming back to some of them in the next few videos and uh, tell me what you think.